60 second reviews. Today's review is The Legend of Zelda. When the original Legend of Zelda was released in 1986, there were a lot of really powerful ideas behind it that were awesome for its time. Now, 25 years later, these ideas may be off-putting to some, however, for others, such as myself, you may find that the game still stands firm in the spotlight of its predecessors. Having an awesome world to explore, finding new equipment, and an extremely unique cast of enemies is what makes the original shine. Arrow shooting goblins, sneaky antlions, sea wizards, it seems like each area of the game has a new enemy with its own unique attack. Pad. With these unique enemies around every corner, it only adds to what makes this game great. The exploration of this huge open world, at least for its time. You start the game having no direction and just find yourself exploring the world scared and excited of what you'll find next. And chances are you'll find the third dungeon before you find the first one. And you can choose to complete it first if that's what you want to do. And that's what makes the original really unique. There's no clear line on how to get to Ganon. One path may be easier than another, but that doesn't mean you can't take the more difficult one. And this is something that the later Zelda titles very much lack. At the end of the day, I don't think that the original Legend of Zelda is necessarily the best one of them all, but I definitely think it is the most unique and creative. And that is why I'm giving the original the grade of a B. As long as you're willing to look past the outdated graphics and enjoy a game that doesn't hold your hand the whole way through, then you too will enjoy the original.